All right, we are moving on and it's time to just finish off the last couple of days before the end of the exhibit. Um, if you skipped over the filler arc, uh, you might have missed <laughs> a little bit of a ride. I have been introduced to the new cinema skins. And you know what? It's my whole personality now. Look at look at the gang. <laughs> Don't look at Morgana because literally he looks exactly the same. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with this. Huh? Did you change your mind? Yeah, alright, but it's time to go. Return to the real world. Now returning to the real world from Mementos. Thank you for your hard work. Alright, and we did do... We didn't go to the... Uh, what was it? The one target that we needed. There was a wall down there. Um, so I think we need to at least wait till after Madarame is done. I assume you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My child apologized for my apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Come on, it's not your fault. Don't worry about it. It is June already, though. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarame's had a mental break. Shut down. But there's no point if we don't have a change of heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was was when you defeated Kamoshida? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Kamoshida was out of school for a while. Either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target himself can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We gotta hear from Madarame himself what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Just try to wait- just try waiting a little longer. Okay, is there anything we can do? Oh, it's evening. Head out real quick. Oh, aren't you tired today? Oh yeah, they don't let us do that if we go to Mementos. Who are these men? Did you see the news about Wild Duck Burger? Stuff like that has been happening makes me not want to eat there, ever. There's no just excuse- there's just no excuse for it. Besides, that guy says he doesn't remember doing it, right? He doesn't feel bad about it at all. Wait, this mm -hmm. is new. Well, I don't know what they're talking about. Wild Duck Burger stock plummets after employee posted pictures of himself engaging in unsanitary practices. Oh, we do remember this. A scandal occurred just before a stockholder meeting, having dire effects on the fast food chain. As for the man behind the scandal, he claims that he was fully nude at work before he realized it. Man. Why would anyone do that? Did he think he was being hilarious or something? Okay, so that happened at Wild Duck Burger. Let's make some coffee. Hey. LeBlanc is still open. You shouldn't be messing with us right now. Whoop. Mm. If you're asking for allowance, the answer is no. If you want money, earn it yourself. Mm. Okay, guess we'll go sulk in our room. Check on the plant. Hey, hey! Should be giving it some nutrients by now. Oh! And reasonably priced nutrients. We had to bring a bit of life back to this plant. And that's a good little what is it? Kindness? Kindness bonus? Yes! And let's do oh. another movie. We just got the Wraith. Oh, more kindness. Wow, we're gonna be the nicest person. So there's definitely a lot that we're um, still waiting on other than just Madarame because we have the um, the stuff with the teacher as well, <laughs> the maid stuff. I'm sad that that didn't like unravel immediately, but um, there's, there's just a lot going on. What a woman, devoted to the spirits of the dead like that? Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching the drama. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon. And we'll have to get a lot more confidant hangs in the next couple days if we can. I want to ask you something. Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? He grew a chunk conscience? Oh. Is that your hypothesis? Why are you asking me? What makes you think that I know? It's still too sudden. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Alright, already after school. Well then. Pollen's bad today. I bet it's affecting mementos too. Okay, the forum request. 
Do you remember what that request from the forum? We still have not resolved it. Simply waiting around is a waste of time. Why not take care of it in the mementos today? We're going to the mementos. Will you have everyone gather at the hideout? Okay, decide later, because we can't do that one quite yet. Um, let's see if there's anything to do in the classroom or if anyone to talk to. Doesn't look like we have anyone out. Oh, over here either, actually. It's probably... Um, Sujiro? Let's see if we can see it from here. Oh, Takeme. Okay. Yeah, actually, let's go do that one. Allergies are so annoying. How are your allergies? I have a good medicine for them. Just one dose should take care of them, in theory. So, what are you here for today? Okay, I want to do the clinical trial. I wish I could study data outside once in a while, like a spacious park? Somewhere that's not too crowded would be best. Maybe I'll look for one when I have some time. All right, let's get in, let's get the clinical trial. Okay, we have our persona. So what are you gonna do? We wanna hang out with Takemi? Okay, it looked like it wasn't going to increase, but that's okay, we can hang out. Yes, let's invite her to the park. Inokashira Park, hmm, that might actually be a good idea. It's a bit far, but let's check it out. I hope there is a travel- oh my god. <laughs> Her fit, ma'am. Mm -hmm. This place should work. The conditions here are perfect for gathering data outside of the clinic. This should also help see the reactions of more external variables, such as change in environment. Well then, shall we begin? Am I really gonna just pass out in the middle of the park with her? Okay, what are you gonna make me do? Oh. Don't worry, I don't want to get in trouble with the police either. So, you can start by going for a swim in that lake? Only kidding. We're going to do a control test. I want to record some data without having taken any medicine. I need some comparison data, and today we're going to gather every last bit of it. The more test data I have, the more helpful I think I'll be. This is more important, so don't slack off. Then... Okay, now go for a run. About five kilometers should do. Not kidding this time. I feel like my bond with Takemi will grow str stronger soon. I'm grateful. Okay, well done. Thanks for your cooperation. That was it. She just had me run around the lake and then we went home. <laughs> ah, you're back. Hey, hey! All right, you've been carrying around that steady armor. How about you wash that over at the laundromat? Okay, and today. Hmm. Same. Same brain. Does that mean Sujiro wants to hang out? You got time right now? Still some time left on the clock today. How about it? I can teach you the ropes. Won't deepen just yet. Hmm. Okay. We won't do it quite yet. Next time then. I should write something. Let's check through Oops. The street guy? Really? You know what we could do? Let's go over to Shibuya. And I think we should go do the, the burger thing. Because it has been a while for this one. Oh. Hmm? Look at the way he's looking up at him. <laughs> hey, if you want to draw in more customers, you need to learn to be more polite when you speak. Hey, my bad. I'm trying. I'm just really hard to wrap my head around how formal Japanese culture is. Why'd you even take this job if you can't speak Japanese well? I said I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm? Pretty good, huh? Hi! Do you remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack the websites in the name of Justice? Okay. Be collecting info today. Running the fan site is just See the easiest ya. job, you know. I know that we can't do anything with the airsoft guy until we have um, another guts, I think it was. Well, speaking of, <laughs> I already forgot that's what I was doing over here. Alright, into the burger shop. We didn't beat this last time. Welcome to Big Bang Burger, open 24 hours a day because there's no day, night, and space. What can I get for you? Let's uh, also order some stuff. 20 HP, oh, to all allies. 30 to uh, one ally. Maybe not 10, I forgot I was, I'm all of a sudden 
broker than normal. Take the challenge. This time you can take the Big Bang challenge for only 500 yen. Would you like to try it? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Certainly. And now then take a seat. And good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to take the Big Bang challenge. Um, since you are currently ranked at third mate, this will be your opponent. Now then. Well then, it's time to take the 30 minute Big Bang challenge. Um to get it started. Ready? Go! Look at the girl next to us. Does she go to a different school? The me makes a challenge for such cosmic proportions. Mm. It looks good, but it's so big. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. They're staring at me, but they're not cheering. It's okay. I won't take it personal. Congratulations! Congratulations on completing the challenge! Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present with you the second mate badge. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world famous Big Bang Burger on the house. We hope you enjoyed the taste of victory. Oh, I'm glad I bought five of those just now. The new challenges will await you now that you become a second Please mate. Look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. I knew you could do it. You took that Comet Burger down. You're so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. Let's go. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks, and your spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. Oh, another. Hmm. Wait, what? You saying you get more than just guts for this? Why have I been putting this off? Wanna head back? We should head home. I'm full f um, just full just from watching you. So I guess maybe if you complete it, then you get uh, extra points from other things. Which is very generous of them, truly. Hey! We're able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something we until we get there? Um... Efficiency, kindness. Let's see this one. We can finish this book. Hmm? After his death, the statue of Buchi became a symbol of Shibuya. Hmm. Buchiko, the story of the dog that makes me cry every time. What are your thoughts? So, you finished reading the story. A dog who kept waiting for his master in Shibuya, huh? A noble and loyal friend to the end. I have to admit, the story moved me. Can't you feel it warm your mm -hmm. heart, too? Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was efficient use of your time. So, I, I feel like kindness and guts are what I want to be working on right now. <sighs> For the most part. For sure guts, so that we can do the airsoft thing. Sucks being stuck inside this bag. I wish we could take Lady On out to do something. My research is going smoothly. I think I'm really making progress with my research. All thanks to you, of course. Do you think you could stop by to give me some more insight? Hell yeah. Okay, his is counselor. Do I have? I think I do have that. Um, let me go check real quick. Respond later. I don't have one. I think I did this last time, didn't I? We have Onion Boy, but we don't have a counselor persona. Okay, but we'll go hang out with him anyways. Leave it to me. Oops. How about we talk outside today? We can meet up in the courtyard, maybe. See you there. <sighs> well, I just found out how scary cats could be, despite their cuteness. Wait, where is this coming from? So. Oh, it happened on my way to school this morning. I spotted a kitten that had gotten itself stuck up in a tree. I tried rescuing it since I felt bad for it, but I ended up with the clawing of a lifetime for the effort. I had no idea that Cat's claws were so sharp. I know, right? It's not the worst. Talk about a reward. Um... I know, right? Speaking from experience, eh? It really does hurt a lot. But I was able to rescue the kitten, so it was all worthwhile. All I ha all I really have to do is make sure to put antibiotics on the scratches anyway. Well, well let's move on to talk about a different kind of pain. We discussed this for a bit the last time we talked, actually. The pain felt within one's heart. 
There are all sorts of ways to identify and diagnose physical injuries and illnesses, but when it comes to pain to the heart, we're working in unknown territory. There's so much we haven't learned yet. Treating trauma sure is different from when it's invisible. If only we could somehow directly reduce emotional pain in a healthy way, like putting antibiotics on a scratch. Is that possible? Of course it is. Would it? Uh, of course it is. Would be my ideal answer, but unfortunately, reality seems to disagree. Unfortunate as it may be, we all know there's no topical medicine that can properly heal a heartache. Not only that, psychological issues are even more complex. Here, allow me to demonstrate. <sighs> oh, what was me? My heart is in such pain. It's like I'm being pierced through the chest. Oh, I have my. such a torturous burning deep inside me. Are you okay? Sorry, that was a poor attempt at acting. Please don't look at me like that. Uh, but uh, basically what I'm getting at is, our own emotional pain is the only kind we can fully comprehend. That seems obvious, right? But it's absolutely vital to understand. A person's heart, their pain cannot be seen. Even if they spent their whole lives expressing it to others, there's no way for them to truly gasp it. It's not like we can directly look at their hearts and remove the root causes of their pain. But for me to do any good in that area, I need to conduct further research into the heart. More specifically, I need to learn how the heart reacts to the world around it. That's the first stepping stone to breaking through in the field. Once that's been figured out, we'll not only comprehend psychological pains that were once unknowable, but we'll be even able to perform more effective treatment for those people with wounded hearts. You're so kind. <laughs> I'm no saint. I just want to do my job well. If I can get rid of people's pain, that'd be for the best, right? I'm no fan of pain myself. Well, uh... On the other hand, people have laughed to have off my idea as just silly, pointless dream, and I can't s say I blame them. But still, you take the time to listen to what I have to say, and you actually try to understand. Thanks to you, I can actually tell I'm really getting somewhere with my theories. How can I phrase it? I guess I could say that you're making this hazy, hard-to-grasp idea finally appear before me? You know, you could very well become a counselor yourself someday. Say, would you like to try being my assistant? Of course, I'm on a shoestring budget, so I wouldn't be able to pay you. <laughs> that sounds fun. Oh, sounds great. Oh, surprisingly eager. Maybe you really will become a skilled counselor in the future. Joking aside, I truly am grateful for your assistance. Thank you. I can sense the gratitude to me. Oh, and it's already gone up. It's a four. All right. Let's put a pin in that for today, shall we? I hope you'll lend an ear again when we got time to spare. Now, I know I've been waiting for this, so let's get to the mental training. Okay, with the mental training, our mind right. feels stronger and we have extra SP. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Ooh, happy pop, that sounds careful, cute. Okay. Do you have a moment? Today got pretty one-sided. I just ended up rambling again. This keeps happening. I should have asked this sooner, but is it this leaving you with a, a mini mental fatigue? Is your schoolwork being affected? Um, I feel completely fine. Really? Thank goodness. I was worried. Not every guy wants a middle-aged weirdo rambling to them about a bunch of philosophical abstracts. I know I'm asking a lot, but it'd be great if you could keep... Uh... Or the station? Sorry, I think this tourist needs help. I'd better go. Hold on, Shinjuku Station? And you, you got no money? That was a weird way to end that. <laughs> ah, you're back. Ooh, who wants to talk to me now? Hi, Mishima. I want to make another report about what I've been doing. Do you have the time today? I get that you're really busy. I've been bearing a bunch of stuff too. I think it'll be really helpful to you. What do you think? Want to hear more? Ooh, and it'll go stronger soon. Yeah, let's hear him out. That's what I'm talking about. Come on over to the diner. Um. So, how go the activities? Actually, I already know. The fansite has been crazy busy thanks to you guys. Is that a gun on the table? <laughs> we cannot. We cannot just be having dinner in the shabby diner with a motorcycle in it and just have a gun on the table, Mishima. This book here is all about the latest security techniques, and this, um, a model gun. It cost me a lot of money. It looks almost real. No. Well, yeah, that just goes how to show how special it is. I heard they have to completely halt production because people kept mistaking it for a real gun. 
It was suggested to me by this military buff on the fandom. Hmm. I figured I could use a bit of security since I'm the sole admin to the fan site. I mean, you guys are getting really popular. There's been a lot more info on the forum lately too. Some of the stuff up there is really scary. It seemed like I might need a little protection. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I may just be a background support, but I need to be able to protect myself. Besides, I'm the kind of guy who goes the whole nine yards once he decides to do something. But as I was saying, we've had a few pretty massive influx of new posts on the forum lately. One of them seems particularly worthwhile. It's bigger than anything we've done so far. But if we really want to make the Phantom Thieves famous, we'll need to go after some flashier targets. <laughs> Leave this to me though. I'll get all the info we need, even if I have to put myself in danger to do it. Oh, he seems extra motivated as always. Increases XP earned by backup members? Huh. All right. It's called Mishima's Desperation. Oh my god. Um, by the way, do I look any different to you? Actually, People have keep telling me it seems like I've changed recently. I guess I can't hide my newfound confidence, huh? My true worth will finally... Well, 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 if it isn't Mishima. Who the f- <sighs> Akiyama-kun? Long time no see, Zero. You know, we've been sitting over there the whole time, but we didn't even notice you sitting here. You're exactly the same as you were back in middle school, Mishima. Yeah, once a zero, always a zero. Y yeah <laughs> You haven't changed your cell number, have you? Hmm? Huh? N no, I haven't. Then why did you come out to our hangout? All of our ex-classmates were there, you know. Oh wait, nobody even remembered you existed. Can't invite a guy you can't remember, right? Uh, right? <laughs> What the hell? Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah, get out of here, thin eyebrow boy. It's just... It's not what it looks like, okay? You know, that one guy in every class who ends up being the butt of all the jokes? That guy was me. Damn it. But I've changed now. I can help you. I'm not going to be that boring guy anymore. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's getting late. We probably should head home. Oh, well, he's see you later. embarrassed. I'll protect him. Can't wait to fight him. Not Mishima. <laughs> oh. Just so you know, I'm gonna work even harder. Not just managing the fan site, but also to help the Phantom Thieves household names. I'm gonna do everything in my power, just so you can kick back and relax. I expect great things. Yeah, I'm feeling confident too. God, I feel like I always get Mishimas wrong. You just go ahead and focus on changing those bad guys' hearts. Okay, I better go, but we'll talk again soon, okay? Like, I feel like sometimes he does want the extra support and like being told that we're, we believe in him. But we're then sometimes started. he doesn't. I've been getting human lately, huh? But it's time like these when you've just got to push through the funk. Don't let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Then I got police officers asking what I was up to. Do I really that, look that suspicious? Uh, yes. Oh, but speaking of looks, have anyone seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice too? That thought process is totally normal, if not always accurate. There's even a name for it. How about you? Any guesses? Something bias. Do you know what the name is for this phenomenon? Pel- Pi- Pygmalion? Halo Destiny. The Halo Effect? The Destiny Effect. This is it. Ooh. Okay. Right. Correct, I'm surprised you knew. You get distracted by superficial qualities, and your broader perception of someone can get biased. Once you get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. Stuff like that. Sheesh! <laughs> Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Give me an extra point. Hmm. The halo effect isn't all bad, but I recommend you give people the chance to define themselves instead of making snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from uh, noticing something truly wonderful about someone, right? Plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. <laughs> but Lady On looks perfect and she is perfect. Yeah, ha ha I wish she like turned around and did like a little whoop. Uh-huh. Mm. It's raining. Weather very male, well made. Bleh, bleh, bleh. 
Weather may... Oh my god. Weather very well may be the same effect of mementos as it has on humans. Oh my god, it's the day before though, y'all. Tomorrow is it... I'm stressy. Okay, Ryuji's hanging. Looks like he wants to actually go like hang out. Someone... Okay, the classroom is always Ryuji, but for some reason I... Forget that. And it looks like Ryuji might be the only one, actually. Do we think any dialogues have changed since, um... Last time, or... Ooh, boy. <gasps> it's happening. It's happening, it's the harpy. Miss Kawakami? I already know. Kawakami's been driven to a corner by Chuono. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. Miss Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami- uh, uh. <laughs> As I've been saying, get home safely. Well then, I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we're not finished talking yet. Uh, but so... I... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question, and yet you leave work earlier than anyone and you barely make it to faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running out around at night. Mm. Kawakami's been grilled by Chuono. She said that she'd do anything if we helped her out, so let's clear up Chuono's suspicions. The school's closing soon. Please head home before it gets too late. Or did you need something from Kawakami? Uh, I have a question for her. Oh, what? 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 Oh, you have another question? Another question? Th that's right. The questions are complicated, so I take time to night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours. Hmm. What passion. You are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at the school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. She did all the... the she, oh, but she... Uh, <laughs> fucking hell, y'all. But that did clear up her suspicion, so thanks. Could you come with me for a bit? I promise I'm fine. I can't be- I can't talk about this at school. This is the address and phone number of my night job. Oh. Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up in your call history, okay? Hey! He did it! No call history means a public telephone. Let's call from the blog yellow phone. Uh, okay, that's what that's for. Let's call Kawakami when you're free, and invite her to meet you at your room. Ooh. Well... Okay, I have to go. Okay, I mean, it is a, that's, that's a little spicier than I expected. Oh! Iksuki-kun, are you free after this? Let's go hang out in Shibuya with everyone. Uh, sorry, I've just been too tired lately. It always feels like somebody's watching me. And I found this hand-knit scarf in my desk, but it's almost summer. Am I being pranked? Oh, that's so creepy. Yeah, that sounds like a stalker. You better talk to a teacher if that bef uh, if it gets worse. Mm -hmm. Girl, you good? <laughs> mm -hmm. You bitch! That's my Iksuki cone. Uh, what? Wait, is she one of those phantom thieves of hearts? What are they doing with someone else's man? Burn, trampy bitch. Burn and bleed in a storm of s blood of storm. I'll never, ever let anyone else have him. iksugi belongs to me. Only me. Um, should we give her a name? I feel like <laughs> just calling her creepy girl... I don't know. Uh, will that be getting too attached? Okay, let's see. The Yakisoba Pond is not today. I think that was, what, Fridays? Mm -hmm. I forgot to apply for the mock exams. Are you going to take any? Only nerds worry about those. I'm not taking any tests that I don't have to take. He's a criminal, isn't he? Why are people still calling me a criminal? It has been so long. It seems that some of the girls are making a fuss. Ha, huh, they're just jealous. They don't like the special treatment Yoshizawa-san is getting. No matter what people say about her, let's stay on her side. Indeed, I will continue to support her as someone who devotes her youth to sports. Mm -hmm. it's probably not true anyway. Hmm, you know, we don't see her, like, out in the open, right? She's a first year, so she should be... Oh, maybe she'll be on the third floor. The false hero Kamoshida has fallen. The false hero? 
Yes, Kamashiro tricked people into thinking he was a hero, but he wasn't. Oh, and don't tell anyone my true identity. No one can know that I'm a phantom thief. Oh, are these the first year classes? Maybe they aren't. There might have been another building. Like the building I was in. <laughs> See anyone else we can listen to now that we know that things have changed though? You haven't seen President Niji Nijima, have you? I gotta find her in the library. Okay, mm -hmm. I think we've heard that conversation before. Let's see. I heard the class next to us went out together. They're so close to each other. I wish our class would do stuff like that. Isn't that a bit tiresome? There's a lot of people and it's loud. I'd go if Yoshisawa was going, but we're not in the same class. She wouldn't go. I heard she's kind of a buzzkill. Apparently she says no even when she's invited because she needs to practice. It's not her fault though. She's an incredible gymnast. She's probably under a lot of pressure. Her genes don't compare to ours. <laughs> she built different, is what they're saying. It could be a good day to um, work in, study in the library since it is raining. Okay, we are in the classroom building. So yeah, let's go to the library. Oop, oop. What's the student council president even doing? She's acting pretty suspiciously. Wandering school, sneaking around. I saw her hanging out in Shibuya for some reason too. She's acting just like a detective, working on a case. Maybe she thinks she is one? She did check out some detective novels the other day. Maybe she's just really into detectives now. Does that mean she's following in her sister's footsteps? What would you like? Uh, okay, let's borrow a book. You can only borrow one book at a time. Be sure you return the first one. Oh. Okay, okay. I was like, I just, I didn't think I had one. Um, from her. We'll start with the Great Thief. Here. This one? Yes, okay. Be careful Here. with it. Oh. Gonna read a book. Oh, wait, no, we want to study mm -hmm. in the corner. Your knowledge might improve if you study at one of the nice. open tables. Aren't many people today? Maybe that's because of the weather. You'll be able to focus on studying hey. today. Let's do it. And then we'll talk to the teacher at night. Oh. If we can. So quiet. You shouldn't have any trouble focusing here. Yep. Way to put your brain to work. You're looking smarter already. It's so close. I'm yeah. gonna scream. You seem pretty intensely focused. Guess it's a good study on days like this. Wanna head back? Well, it's getting late. You should probably call it quits for today. Ah, you're back. <gasps> and someone's calling me? Oh no. We're discussing. The exhibition ends tomorrow. Madarame must have hit his change of heart by now, right? Must have had. I'm sure he'll be fine. So far, nobody's come in charging with us with anything, yeah? But wouldn't he wait to press charges until after the exhibition? What if we choose it? What if we do it if someone contacts us about it tomorrow? Try asking Yusuke. He's still studying with staying with Madarame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if he'll be okay with Madarame. Sorry, I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly be happening tomorrow. Madarame is on the phone as we speak. With who? Likely the media. I haven't heard anything in the conversation about pressing charges. Guess we gotta wait then. Let's meet in Shibuya tomorrow. Okay, see you then. The exhibition is finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Hmm. You, hey. The false confidence is making me nervous. Actually, didn't Kawakami give you her number? Are you gonna call her? Okay, actually, real quick, let's go check the bathroom. Hey. Uh, I'm going to think. Think on the on the crapper. To put it nicely, if you will. I should reflect for a bit. Feel like I'm getting somewhat close to improving my knowledge. No idea for charm, no idea for proficiency, somewhat close for guts, and definitely close for kindness. Okay. <gasps> Are we watching Power Rangers? 
Featherhawk has regained his lost memories, but now a new villain has revealed himself. The earth-shattering appearance of a new leader. Revive and fight Phoenix Rangers. Next episode, his name is Feather Red. Okay, should I call the main delivery service? I don't have enough guts for that. Oh no, I don't feel like I can call from a block unless I have enough guts to be staunch. Hmm. So we could clean or we could, okay, actually, yeah, we, we gotta do guts. Because we need that for so many things now. I don't have that same movie anymore. Let's check these books. Hey. Uh, make knowledgeable internet crimes. Hmm. Learn charm. Kindness. Oh my god, I'm gonna scream. I don't have anything. Do we eat another burger? Is that what this means? Or is Morgana gonna be like, no, you got a busy day tomorrow. Oh. I love autonomy. <laughs> Who else would be here? Station Square? Oh, that's... I think that's the... the guy yelling. <laughs> the yeller. Alright, we're going for this burger again, y'all. If they let me. Okay, take the challenge. 500 um, again. Maybe able to gain guts if you do the challenge, but what? Are you sure you can finish the whole thing? Okay, yeah, we'll do it again. Thank you very much. Ooh. Whoa! This is the Gravity Burger, a burger so large that it almost has its own gravitational field. Once again, it would be no easy feat to overcome. But should you contribute this challenge, you'll be rewarded with an extravagant prize. Now then. All right, let's go. I wonder if at any point they wanted these to actually be like little mini games, because I think that would have been really cute. Now then. Don't get too hasty. Just work at your own pace, and you'll do it. Oh, I've been man. defeated. Oh, it didn't work out. You had a ton of energy at the start, though. I guess I'll take quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. Be difficult to finish with my current wait, guts, knowledge, and proficiency, all of it. Yep. Hmm. Okay, but we do got double the bonus for guts. Wanna head back? We're gonna be eating a few burgers in the next coming month, y'all. on that screen what's up with that old geezer <laughs> uh, is he crying i i have committed crimes that are unbecoming of an artist plainly put i uh, plagiarized work oh jeez. i i tainted this this country's art world at, at even Sayori! How could I, <gasps> I possibly apologize to to everyone for for what I've done? <laughs> oh my god, that portrait is so intense. <laughs> He's crying way too much. <laughs> and that was from the urgent apology conference by Matarame that took place just a moment ago. After reporting to the association, Matarame has agreed to the police's request to turn himself in. Wasn't he on TV the other day? On top of charges of abuse to his pupils, Matarame is under suspicion of claiming their works as his own. Some doubt the validity that his maiden work, Sayuri, was stolen, believing it was used for fraud. This large-scale criminal act has caused a great shock to the art world, and... And? That old man's done for. After the conference, Matarame was taken to a police hospital for interrogation due to his age. However, initial psych evaluations state that he is mentally sound and likely responsible for his actions. There's no need to be nice to an old geezer like that. Why'd he spill the beans himself? 
Doesn't that seem weird? Also, a group calling themselves the Phantom Thieves posted a dubious note at Matarame's exhibit. Oh shit, they said her name on the news. I don't think they did that last the time. Police will investigate their relation to this case, but for now, did not identify them as suspects. Phantom Thieves? Do these bandits have something to do with that old geezer's apology? Oh, I've heard of them before. They supposedly steal evil hearts. It's why the culprits apologize. Wait, what? Steal hearts? <laughs> That's impossible, though. But I feel like I saw something about that online, too. They sent out a calling card for real. For real? Oh, so it was like, we're going to take your heart? Oh, that's impressive if someone really did that. Phantom Thieves. <gasps> oh, who are you? I'm sorry, I got chills and for what? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Mr. Sweater Vest? Phantom Thieves again. Hmm. Wait, is that Nakanohara? You guys see the news about Madarame? It's just like what happened with Kamoshida. And they mentioned the Phantom Thieves. Oh, yeah, this was the first time we showed up on the news. Man, this is starting to get interesting. If we do it right, we can change people's hearts. With this power, we might be able to do more than just getting back at society. It'll be a big deal. This will be fun. Let's keep pushing on then. As for me, I hope we just keep getting more and more famous. Hmm. Something like this happening twice is massive, too. It's too great a coincidence to occur normally. Very true. If we continue doing this, we'll definitely be able to give courage to everyone who needs it. Oh my god, Anna is so wholesome. My heart. <laughs> Why hasn't Yusuke said anything? You may want to quiet down a little. Oh, jeez. Do you know them? You moron! Those are attendance officers! Hello there. May I speak with you for a moment? Ah, no! Yes! How can we help you? That monotonous acting of hers never fails to send a chill down my spine. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Are you friends? Uh, we wanted some tea. Hmm, is that so? And how would you do that in a place like this? We were just discussing where we should go. Well, all right. Just make sure you disperse before it gets too late, okay? There have been some odd happenings lately, and the news about that artist has caused quite the stir. We'll be careful. So do you really had no reason to question us? It's still light out. Man, those guys must have way too much time on their hands. Hey, don't go making stuff up on the spot like that, okay? I totally panicked because of you. From now on, we'll need to be even more cautious than before. Look at us. Right after the second thieves incident, both prior victims are meeting up. Wait, you mean people might be listening to us? That'll be fine. Look around, we're the only people worrying about it. I guess you're right. Perhaps we should find a hideout that is actually hidden out <laughs> of the public eye. By the way, Yusuke, you able to get anything out of Madarame? Remember how he was talking about that suspicious person in the black mask? Well... I pressed him for answers, but he doesn't even understand what happened to him to begin with. It's not like he actually saw his desires get stolen, after all. It's rumored that he may be sent to prison. In that case, gaining information will be difficult. So, what are you gonna do now? I'll be leaving that house. I can't draw in such a place anymore. Where is he gonna go? Do you have somewhere to go? The school dorms. I can stay there free of charge thanks to my fine art scholarship. A scholarship? Wait, you're that good? Although, Takamaki-san's house would do as well. Hmm? Wait, what? Sir? Pardon? <laughs> you know, you could ask her to model for you whenever you want. Oh my god, there are literally too many men. <laughs> you moron! Then again, now that Yusuke will be living alone, it'll be easier for us to meet up whenever we want. For the time being, we should wait and see how this case plays out. Uh, and it'll probably take some time finding a target as big as Madarame. Anyway, we should just act like normal students while we look for our next target, okay? We'll be entrusting that to you again, Ryuji. Alright, 
guess it's just more prep till then. More training. Let's go. Oh my God! Leave us alone. Yusuke Kitagawa. Nijima, get out of here. Also, speaking of Nijima, get out of here. <laughs> So after Shiho Suzui, you did it again for someone you barely knew? You were sent away twice, almost reported to the police, and yet you still wanted to save him. Moreover, you ended up in a museum instead of a castle this time. You're still going to maintain this rubbish about changing someone's heart by stealing their treasure? Take it how you will. <clears throat> Very well. The truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody. Truth behind this tale of yours will be clear once your conspirators are in custody? Conspirators? Now then, tell me about this new member who joined your group. There's no point in being stubborn. It will only damage your position. The identity of Madarame's pupil can be easily discovered with a little investigation. Ain't saying shit. So you won't sell out your accomplice? <sighs> Fine. There's still much more oh, that oh my I want God. to hear. Are you about to reveal the next one? It was around this time that the Phantom Thieves began to truly gain popularity. Lies flooded the internet. Things like the Phantom Thieves saved me too, or I got a calling card. For heaven's sake, those lies made the collection of intel take almost ten times longer. Now your next target was this man. Junya Kaneshiro. Junya Kaneshiro? He doesn't compare to the previous two. Even the police had been struggling to apprehend him. So, exactly how did you take down such a well-guarded criminal? Tell me. So an actual criminal? I'm not sure if they've actually even hinted at that name yet. But now we know what our next one is, and that is Wild. The suspect has repeatedly testified that he does not have any recollection of his actions. A full psychiatric evaluation will be performed to further investigate the crime's details and motives. First, Kamoshida at Shujin Academy, and now Madarame. I found a number of points of commonality between the two. Both, for example, were sent a calling card before their unforeseen changes of heart. I see. But isn't tying their cases to the series of psychotic breakdowns jumping to conclusions? Furthermore, the police will frown upon you stepping into this. Now isn't the time to be worrying about things like jurisdiction and honor. We need to dig deeper and find a correlation among the incidents these past two, three years. Two, three years? <sighs> Very well, I leave it to you. However, you must not let this interfere with your regular duties. Thank you, sir. That damn woman just had to stick her nose into this. Oh. And I understand that these abnormal incidents have caused some anxiety throughout our country. This situation <gasps> must be approached with the utmost seriousness. He is a motherfucking politician. I shall continue to put forth great effort so that every citizen can live with peace of mind. Not only are there these phantom thieves to worry about, but if that is exposed... <clears throat> Holy shit. Oh. Looks like Yusuke's texting me. I think you're getting home too. You have my gratitude. What are you so polite for all of a sudden? I truly am thankful for you making me come to my senses. <laughs> you owe us one. Indeed, I will return the favor someday. You're one of us now, man. You'll be counting on you, okay? Of course. And if anything comes up, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thank you. Well then, see you. He didn't have to go through all that trouble just to thank us. He's such an honest guy. Anyway, that went well for our first job, huh? That was a huge success. So that said, you got time after this? Wait, for what? You know. Well, the thing is, I got some free tickets to a darts lounge from this guy I know. But I totally forgot that they expired today. So you want to go right now? 
Rushi, didn't we just finish talking about how we need to be on guard? Come on, it's just darts. Don't you want to play too, Morgana? I mean, if you can actually throw anything. If you're just going to play, then I guess I shouldn't be a problem. Alright, well then let's head to this darts lounge, or whatever it is. Lead the way, Ryuji. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm on it. Alright, this place is called in Kichijoji, so we gotta take the train first. Oh, I've never been there. Oh. What? For real? There's a bunch of different shops outside the station let's there. Go. It's just one stop away from Shibuya, so let's head to Inogami Line first. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ginza, the square. Oh, okay. We were already facing that way. We're reading signs. It's fine. Oh, okay. We can go up. Hey. These stairs will take you to the Inog Inogami line. This way to Kichigoji. All right, let's go. Oh, look at that little picture on the bulletin board. How cute. Popular with men and women all ages, the streets are lined with shops. All right. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Oh. 200, okay. Not bad, not bad. Uh-oh. You'll have to pay a fare to travel outside of these areas, so make sure you plan accordingly. Hmm. Oh my god, those two. Is she really gonna spend 200 yen? to stalk us. <gasps> Cute! Oh, so this is Kichi, Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Yeah, you hear this music? I feel like I'm about to play some sort of like slice of life simulation right now. I guess this game is kind of like a simulation. Well, yeah, look, there's like a, lots of uh, shops here that you can you can't find Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Uh, it seems interesting. What? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Aunt's not here because she's busy, but it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the Darts Lounge is one block up from the street, main right. street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of other shops on the way. Hell yeah, let's do it. Okay, so this is the way out. We gotta stop through any of all of these places. Hmm. Oh, she really did pay 200 yen to stalk us. Why are you so obsessed with me? Hi there. Do our best to provide information regarding hey, this area. Any questions? Uh, the city. Well, Four different areas. The promenade, you can find a food shop, stationery store, a secondhand clothing store, and a temple. Ground beef cutlet at the fried food shop is delicious. You'll have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see the retro street, and you can find a selection of chic and sophisticated stores. There's also a jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singers will go there, and the liveliness is inevitable. <sighs> I hope I explained it all right. Do you have any other questions? My question is, are you okay? That was a lot. <laughs> okay, so what do you recommend? Uh, you're a miner? If that's the case, you should go drinking to the past the drinking district and to reach the Rue de... Rue de Chochu. Rue de Chochu. You will find darts and billiards lounge. Casual place, people your age can walk in, no problem. Uh, how about for adults? So, a jazz club. I think miners can go in. Sorry for my lack of knowledge. Okay. Come again. We'll just, uh, explore everything. A hat shop? Hmm. How many heads could this store cover? This looks like a fancy shop. Stationary. My Morgana senses are telling me that this door sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. What the hell are Morgana wow. senses? Well, let's take a look. Plenty of items you what can give you to others. Okay. We haven't gotten to the point where we're gifting people, so we'll, we'll keep that in mind. Was saying something about how their gift stuff makes good gift or how their stuff makes good gifts, yeah? <laughs> Guess it'd be pretty cool to get a gift from here. Well, now he's hinting at me and I want to get him something. Okay, clothes? Hey. Bring your sooty armor? What? Wait, what is that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry, I won't steal it. Secondhand shop. You can sell sooty armor on you own. Depending on what the sooty armor was originally, it may fetch a decent price. For each clothing item you sell, you will obtain shop points, which can be traded for prizes at the shop? Hmm. Nice. Guys reacting to clothing that we got from the shadows. Seems like he knows what he's talking about. 
Been here for 40 years, but I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. Alright, I'll buy it, but I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So, we have a point card system here. Each piece of clothing you sell here will give you 10 points. Once you attain enough points, you can trade them for a prize. So feel free to let, to take us uh, that clothing off your hands. Hmm. 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 So, let me see the prizes. Awake, quick spray, a belt with a swift-footed... The belt of a swift-footed god, and a clothing grab bag? Four sets of used clothes? Welcome! Ooh. Okay, well, we have five of these. Fifteen of these. So we just need to do ten. So since these are closing, that's get you a hundred points. Uh, and let me see the prizes. We just need- oh, we just need fifty for this. I'm curious. Anyways, wanna look up inside this stuff? Let's take a look. An old mythical scarf and an old Chong Chongsam? Hmm. Not too bad. Let's get this out again sometime. Hope you like the stuff we had in the store. If you want more points, just sell the clothes you got. That's interesting. So I guess like the easier sooty armors that we get, we can sell those here. <laughs> Pretty fun, but let's check it out again sometimes. Interesting. What is this food? Ooh. Those look like Assorted, I don't knows, uh, covered in hot Cheetos. Just general, it looks like hot Cheetos. <laughs> oh, holy crap, look at the line! I think I saw the store on TV. Oh, that smell. Looks like their special meat cutlet is their most popular item. We only have enough of the meat cutlet for the people in line right now. Dropping, uh... Stopping by at night time. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, what's this man's gotta say? He looks jolly. Uh... Name of the place on the ticket is- oh. Good day, what brings you here? Oh, surprised to see a monk? Fret not, I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to public during the day. You're most welcome to visit any time. Hey. There's so much going on. I wonder what we're going to do to this temple. Oops, hmm. other way. If it hasn't been blatantly obvious, I have not been paying attention to directions. <laughs> Wait, what is this? A furniture? Furniture? Whoa! Do you want to get a new sofa for your room? Look at the price tag. Sorry. I take it back. Oh my god! Play with my emotions a little harder next time. You know, mm -hmm. with so many people getting tricked into scams, it feels like a good uh, good to see the bad guys cry while they apologize. Which reminds me, I heard some of my customers talking about the Phantom Thieves. Have you heard of them? My kids were talking about them too. Can't quite figure out if it's some kind of prank or foam form of blackmail or what. Yeah, I don't even know if they're real or not, but wouldn't it be great if they really existed? Ooh, I like this cute little back area too. This looks like the jazz club that they're talking about. Hmm? These people look oh. important? This is the road. Hey. Name of the shop, it matches what's on the free tickets. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Why they give those to Doofy Birds? Wait, why they give one of those Doofy Birds a gun? For real? <laughs> it's not meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. Hmm? Look at these. Are they tourists? Ugh, the Matarami is such a fraud. His appearance on Good Morning Japan was full of lies. I can't believe he actually paid to go to his exhibit. You and your stupid recommendations. Why is that my fault? You were singing his praises not too long ago. I had to cancel golf plans with my boss. All the kids at school are pretending to be Madarami now. How could I possibly apologize to everyone for- Ah! Mommy-chan, stop. Don't copy that criminal. Ugh, your father's such a bad influence. Oh my god, do y'all- Hello? She's doing a terrible job. <laughs> um... My, what a coincidence. Oh, that's it? Um... She's sneaky? At least she's trying. Okay, let's see at least what these other stores are. A donut shop? Hey! We're really missing out on no center part of the donut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're really something we need to worry about right now. I thought we were something important. Wait, what? Uh, um... Is she just walking behind me? 
Oh, she's running. She's on the move. <gasps> she actually follows you here? Oh my god, look at her go. That's so funny. You're missing out on your target, ma'am. Look at her go. <laughs> Where is she going? So if I follow her, what happens? <laughs> what was this though? Hey, look! Dude, this uh, Nikuman looks like much tastier than the convenience stores. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? Hey, welcome. We're selling our hot and fresh Chinese Hello. buns here. Ooh, so we're stored a hundred to one, fifty and thirty. Let's get a couple of these. Mmm, peppery, no, wait, Napoleon, Napolitan, Nikuman, and peppery. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally gonna eat one of these today. Oh, there's so many restaurants over here. Alright, let's go to our destination now. Whoa. Oh, here is the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Oh, you're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You didn't gotta tell me that. So, what's the plan? You want to head inside? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, in the quick travel. <laughs> oh my god. All right, bull. That's a new high score. Just a flick of the wrist? Bull. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Oh. <laughs> anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. Mm. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? Sounds fun. So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Yeah, what are we reading? Uh, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Who's our partner? Yeah, sounds fun. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Oh, we're just partners together. I thought we were going against someone. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. <gasps> Here goes. Cute. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. When will Morgana stop this? Enough, Morgana, enough. Ryuji is perfect and we have all established. We're almost down to zero points. That's really focused for this last round. Something is going on. <gasps> oh. Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. Mm. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. W wait, huh? Baton pass rank two? Damage up HP recover. Feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. What? The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful this effect will uh, be when performing a baton pass. Increase damage, and then damage and heal, and then heal even more, and then recover SP. You can verify a partner's party. Ooh, verify a party's partner. Oh. <laughs> you can verify a party's member's baton pass rank on the stat screen. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game. It can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. That's a good way to look at it. 
<laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. The Man, team building all exercise. This just for me asking you to meet me here. This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. <laughs> Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Is this billiards? Ooh. Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the invite, bestie. Hey. If I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target. Got mm. it? Oh, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. <laughs> Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on the street that bears in investigating. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you want, uh, if you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns it into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did. Then he sues you for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like a conflict artist. Uh, and the cops? Well, they tried giving him a warning, but he pretends to be senile and gets away with everything. We can't just get him go unchecked, right? Only problem is knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear he hangs out in Kichi Joji's Harmony Alley a lot. Mm. This old man sure does sound like a problem. And if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, it sounds like our next stop is Kichi Joji. So let's go check out this Harmony Alley. The elderly's meaning of life? Okay, let's see if there's anyone out here that would like to hang out. Perhaps? I mean, we do have... Sojiro. Hmm, I feel like, where do we... What, what do we need? So many things, honestly. Hey. Make sure you pick your friends carefully. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's any new conversations popping up, so let's go onto this. Should we go over there and check out this old man? Hmm. Oh, look at the window! That's so nice. We have a target we haven't identified, right? Let's go to Harmony Alley and gather some info on the old man. The velvet room, too. Harmony Alley. Whoa, look at this detail, it's so cute. Mm? Who's this grumble grumble? Mm? Mm? My husband already won't stop teasing me about it. He says that old fraud Madarami nearly suckered me into taking art lessons. So makes me mad. I hope that old coot rots in prison. So what is a Harmony Alley? Oh my god, look at their mm? fits. Everyone's talking about Madarame, but I guess it's no surprise given how well known he is. Ugh, he ain't a real artist. Just a slavery lying pig acting like a person of culture. Well, art and culture are fine and all, but in the end, we're all human. Morality aside, money is important, but I understand how it can become a person's top priority. Seriously, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Money ain't everything. How would I know? Hello? I want to be strong like Featherman. I want some imported protein. I see, but you can become strong by eating your mom's cooking, you know. But mom's food won't turn me into Featherman. I want to be Featherman. Hmm. Whoa, what is this? Oh, incense. Hmm, interesting. He said, if you're not incense, just leave? 
That's interesting. <laughs> that old man hasn't come here yet. No wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but he makes so much trouble. An old man making trouble? Hey, do you think they were talking about the elderly man causing trouble in Kichijoji? Hey, this ain't no place for a young and like you. You looking for something around here? Uh, and the elderly troublemaker. Oh boy. So even kids like you know about him. That old man's got a... That old man's out of control. He takes drinks from strangers, he starts fights, and when he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to mooch money off people. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. You got a name? Oh yeah, the old man's always shouting his name over and over. Haiji Ono, right? Yep, that's the name. Okay. Alright, we've got the name of our target. But you know, I can't be hard on him. He's around my dad's age. But when he complains about his joints hurting on rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish he didn't hang around here, but stayed warm with his family instead. You know, it sounds awfully sympathetic, but I know you really think he's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying that. Mm. His joints hurt on rainy days? Poor okay, guy. Well, I think we got all the info we need. Why don't we talk about it at the hideout? Hmm, does that mean I need to go fight him in the mementos on a rainy day? That'd be interesting. Interesting mechanic. Um, I know that it's supposed to change the the mementos in general, but I don't think we, I think we've only done it on a pollen day. Okay, let's go back to the station. I'll see who's in Shibuya that is trying to talk. All right, we don't have the airsoft guy. I mean, not the airsoft guy, the politician. All right, you know what time it is. It be burger o'clock. <laughs> we will fail, but it's okay. Um, Let's fast forward this. I forget that you can do this on like, not just the battles. Like you can do it in the cutscenes too. Thank you very much. Still lost, yep. though. My enthusiasm in the face of adversity. Wanna head back? How many more burgers must I eat to make my gut bigger? Sixteen <laughs> percent. Let's go. Did you see the news about the calling card from the Phantom Thieves? Right, the way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. <sighs> Ugh, it's so gross and humid. Today's train news. Hot spots of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper has opened for business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether you're alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh, oh it's that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm going to play darts too. Still, there are a lot of other shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. I wonder how many other places are going to open up. Like, this map already feels so big. Morning. The response to Madarami's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflow and phantom thief charisma? Oh shit, I'm finally starting to be popular with all the flight. Oh no. Something strange. For real? Of course there is. My uniform, man. My uniform. We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. God damn it. I gotta go home and change. So you go on ahead. Hmm. <laughs> Holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez. Anyways, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out over all the artwork he's stolen? The same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all of it. This new phantom- this new- news this morning said a group vault called the phantoms are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they got people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? <gasps> Ryushi? Oh, no, <laughs> That's, this is also wrong. <laughs> Oh, sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's definitely my personal best. By a lot. What is going on here? 
was going on here? Going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier. I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! <gasps> what will come of you asking that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. a lot for me. For I feel cause, like... Correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. Why does he care about the students now? That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. Ugh. <sighs> I thought he was going to have something more behind him. Did you see Matarame's press conference? And I feel like that's not true anymore. You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh my god, look at the R on the back. <laughs> think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? On the TV station? Huh? What? <laughs> oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. <laughs> you better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Fair enough. Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well. Not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. Interesting, he got excited about actresses. Yeah, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. Oh, he looking for fame? <laughs> that guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Oh, look at all the. F so all the the polos. It was pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Madarame is the only topic of conversation at my school, and as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. It kind of be okay? There's no reason to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? Are you kidding? There's no way we'd pick a target that quick. To mementos we go, honestly. Understood. Oh, we could always go to the mementos instead. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if there's anything that comes up. Hey, are you listening? I'm not. You pay attention. Is this how you listen when someone's talking to you? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, damn it. Right in the pay forehead. Attention. Kids these days have no respect for their elders. <sighs> Y'all are asking so much of me. You realize that I am just a little lad. I can't do it all. <gasps> uh, senpai, what a pleasant surprise. Oh my God, her yellow cardigan is giving me so much serotonin. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. What a considerate kitty. Of course, this isn't something any ordinary cat would do. <laughs> 
And just in case you've forgotten again, I'm a human, not a cat. Well, see you around. Won't you get wet, though? Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Oh my god, ma'am. Care to walk together? Uh-huh. But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. That... Oh my god. Thanks the transition. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon. So I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Is it for gymnastics? Yeah, that's right. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. Oh, she sounds sad. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. <laughs> She's like, I just missed when I used to be Ponytail Girl and that's all anyone knew me as. Sorry about that. Oh no. If anything, it's my own fault. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Again with the phone, acting up. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? He must care a lot about you. Who's your dad? Yes, I definitely agree. <laughs> I'm so suspicious of everything. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. I used to be a trusting person before Excuse I played Persona me. 5. <laughs> Seems pretty rough. But never mind that. Having welfare is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Hey, I found some great intel. This time, bullying that's a Kosei student they call a queen? She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name uh, M. Kinda like a, the M in s and M. Does M stand for Mashima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. The girl's acting like a queen is Hikari Sh Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl like that would turn out if she had an S as an initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it on when you have some time. Hopefully you don't end up an M. Hey, hey. What did he mean by S and M? Those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of the clothes? Yes, of course. <laughs> Anyways, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find some time to consult others at the hideout. Ooh, lots of requests today. And the updated den? It's been a very busy, a very Let's busy day for Joker.